Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will see more example around the declaration of a variable with let. The let statement declares a block scope local variable. A block scope means that the variable lifecycle starts and ends in a block that is defined between curly brackets. Let's jump to a couple of examples to explain how let scope impacts variables. In the following code, they are two x variables. The example describes well the block scope where there are two variables that can coexist because they are in two different scopes. As pointed, the two variables borrow the same name. TypeScript does not raise any issue as it distinguishes the two variables independently. A brief modification of changing the type from a number to a string displays that it still does not raise any issue and clearly demonstrates that both variables are different and independent entities delimited by the block scope, as you can see with the highlighted curly braces. The let variable can also be declared with a single let keyword, followed by many other variables. The following example shows how to declare multiple variables in the same scope on the same line. The first scope declares and initializes the values on the same line, while the inner scope declares and later initializes the variable. This kind of declaration is valid for var and const as well. I recommend avoiding declaring many variables with a single let because it makes the code taking more horizontal space and is a harder to refactor, meaning modifying the code later. For example, if you want to move the variable into a different declaration like constant, it would require to move a couple of code around. Another example and a good use case for the let use case is looping. The variable is used for a specific scope, the for loop. Also, the variable increment or decrement which consists of the goal of a loop. In the following code, we can see the declaration and initialization are performed and then followed with a Boolean condition to continue to loop and at last the modifier applied at each loop. At this point, it is possible to create a new i variable outside the loop, meaning before or after, but not inside the for loop. There is also another more advanced way to declare a variable with let called destructing assignment, which requires to use of an object property out into multiple let variables. However, the destructing element is for a later videos. So here we are again. We are a fork where you need to make a decision. In the description, you can see two different paths. One leads having more detail on var, the other path is about declaring a variable with const. See you soon.